Hello, what's going on guys? And today I'm going to be talking about the Vancouver Canucks and if they're for real. So, to the start of the season, they had a slow start, but ever since like the fifth or sixth game, they really picked up where it looked like they could really improve. On paper, I, I thought they could battle for a wild card spot, but I didn't think... I definitely didn't think like they've been they've been playing way better than I expected and obviously I mean the media has been talking about how they're potentially the biggest surprise even though I think the others are still for me the biggest surprise because of the depth they have they don't really have depth Vancouver Vancouver picked up a good depth in the offseason and I think yeah they their last game their first game without Quinn Hughes they still showed they can be a pretty dominant team and yes it was san jose that's playing very badly but they can dominate and and they're just rolling like like if you're a team that rolls four lines you can really do damage in and if you can be like if you can make the playoffs like rolling four lines is very important especially if you are a playoff team rolling four lines is one of the most important things for every cup team Rolling four lines is probably one of the reasons they win. If if you can have a really productive fourth line, man, like man, like Vancouver, like like their top players have been so good. But but it it really depends on a lot of the bottom six forwards. If they can produce, you're gonna win a lot of games. Especially if if like you know their defense and like like their goaltending has been amazing. Like like last year, Markstrom was I think he was the MVP. I know if they made the playoffs, Patterson probably would have been nominated for the Hart Trophy. And and if Vancouver makes the playoffs, Patterson probably could win the Hart Trophy because he he again he's he's even better I think this year than last year. And that's crazy. He he can hit 85 points. I don't know that 100 points is a possibility, but he's been pretty fantastic. And when he gets his RFA payday, it's it's. It's definitely going to be around 10 million. I mean, he's that good of a player, and and I didn't know, I really didn't know, like, like all the hype last year, before he even played. I I didn't know he would be that good. I I didn't I didn't know how much better he could be. He's been fantastic. He he just does everything. He's great. Like he's great defensively. Like he's a two way player. He's so good, and I mean. He's a McDavid type player. He's not McDavid or anything, but man, he can really do everything on the ice. Besser, Besser. I don't think he's a great two-way player, but but he's been playing great with Pedersen. He has just showed and and Bo, Bo Horvat, you know, Bo Horvat has had a really good year. He's doing what Bo Horvat's supposed to do. They they have just been fantastic so far. Quinn and Quinn Hughes when he was healthy. He he was playing great. His two he's already like he's like he's not just an offensive defenseman. He he can really can play defense. Like when you watch him, his skating's amazing. I mean, it's insane how good he is. Like he can play defense. Like this this guy's really young. Like this guy, he's he's gonna be a beast. I mean I mean Vancouver's future, you gotta be excited if you're a Canucks fan. Like I'm not a Canucks fan, but this team is so exciting to watch. And and then, you know, I mean, I mean the pickup of J.T. Miller. I think still, still, still like Tampa. They made a good trade because they got a first rounder out of that. But, but J.T. Miller, J.T. Miller, he he wasn't get it, gonna 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 get as much points because he was on Tampa. But it wasn't like he was like it wasn't like he was a fourth liner with Tampa, and he he was a. He was a top six guy with Tampa, but so much other guys were scoring, so he couldn't really score like he would want to. He he never was an established premier scorer or a point producer or anything like that. With with Vancouver so far, he has been he is he is playing the best hockey of his career. And it's not just playing good. He has really showed that he can be an effective top six forward. Like, really, really effective on the Vancouver. I think. And I really do like 
the trade. Like when Jim like when Jim Benning I was like I was like some fans saying I feel iffy. I feel iffy, but I th I still think it's a good trade for Vancouver and especially at the time I thought it was a good trade for the guy. And and it's worked out amazingly for Vancouver and JT Miller. I still think Tampa makes good on it because of clear cap space, you get a first rounder. I th I think that's still a win for Tampa too. So it looks like a fair trade. It really looks like a fair trade for both sides. And and also the signing of Tyler Myers, do I think that was overpaid? Definitely. But oh, is it a good pickup? It was a good pickup because they needed another guy. They needed someone else that could produce also offensively. And Quinn and I know Tyler Myers isn't the greatest guy to get a lot of lessons from, but but that's what Quinn Hughes is stuck with. He's stuck with a veteran that that has made many mistakes in his career defensively. He knows now what to do offensively and defensively. So I think it's a pretty decent mentor for Quinn Hughes. I think this is a good pickup. And he's, again, not a great defenseman, but he's a decent defenseman that can put up a lot of points and still can play decent defense at times. He can be, you know, he can be a guy. I think, I think Jim Benning may allow moves. Jim Benning knows, 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 knows. It shouldn't, he knows. He, it, it shouldn't be a rebuild anymore. It should be about, it should be about, you have to, I really think they have to be a playoff team at this point. They have too many pieces in place to miss the playoffs. In my opinion, if they miss the playoffs, a lot of Canucks, man, I mean, there's going to be a lot of excitement for the future, but there's going to be a lot of pissed off Canucks fans saying, what's the point of this? They got to get it together. They got to make the playoffs because the goal, the goal really is to make, like, I mean, last year, technically the goal was to make the playoffs, but they, sim they simply just didn't have the team to be competitive enough for 82 games and make the playoffs. They just didn't have that team. This year, they clearly have that team. All four lines are scoring. Josh Levo, again, is having another good year. They picked up Furlan as well. He's a tough guy. He played on the Canes last year. He was great. He He's another pretty good pickup because he can fight. He can, you know, he's a good checker. Like, he, he can hit. He can hit. He can hit, but he can score too. Like, he can really score too. Like, Furlan's a good pickup. There's a lot of good pickups on the Vancouver Canucks. So, in the comments down below, please tell me if you think the Canucks are for real. I think they're for real. I think they're... They, they have a chance to be more for real than the Oilers because the Oilers don't really have the depth. In the playoffs, I just, I don't know that the Oilers have the depth if they make the playoffs. I don't know that they have the depth at all to really go through that long of a run. And it's not certain. And it's not certain that anybody makes the playoffs. It's not certain that the Canucks are going to make the playoffs. It's not certain. For right now, they're playing great hockey. And uh, they play the Blues tonight. That's going to be a good test. That team rolls four lines. That team has one of the best defensive cores in the league. They play a really solid game. They're big. Let's see what the Canucks can do. Let's see how they play against them. If they beat the Blues, and if they single-handedly have a statement win against them, that's going to be another, you know, story of. That's going to be another, you know, it's going to be a story of this team looks real. It's going to be, you know, and I hope they do beat St. Louis. But again, if St. Louis wins, it's also not the end of the world. Why? St. Louis is a damn good team. They have a great goal, a great defensive core. And again, they roll the four lines. They're huge. They're arguably the biggest team in the league. And Vancouver has big guys. But they have a lot of talent. And Vancouver, they look for real. But it's not official that they're for real. Because it's only November. And it's early November. So... No one knows if they're for real. I think at this point they look that they look like they're for real. But again, no one knows until March or April of the playoffs if you're for real because then you can see in the playoffs are they for real. And again, if this team explodes, I don't think anybody would want to verse a team like this because they're so talented. It will it will be hard to shut down a team like this. Like Pedersen, we don't even know what playoff Pedersen like. Like, we had one year of McDavid playoffs, and I'm sure he would be even better now in the playoffs. But 
we've never seen Pedersen playoffs. We don't we don't know everything about Pedersen, but what we do know is he's the next Henrik Sedin for this team, and that is saying something about Pedersen. Besser's good, but he's not even close to what Pedersen can do. So this team, I'm really excited. Again, I'm not a Canucks fan, but I'm excited what this team can do, and that's all for this video. Talk to you in the next one.